What's up dudes? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now in today's video, Hopper has managed to create a uh, mutant, uh, what's it called? Magma Cube, actually. Now, if we go ahead and check this mailbox right here, there's nothing on the border suggestions, by the way, because I, I didn't find anything interesting per se, but let's just go ahead and check this out really quick. I finally managed to create a mutant Magma Cube, and for some reason it grew a very hard shell around it while it's mutating, so it's probably very, very durable. Toss it out against some mobs, so or maybe yourself, so we can see how strong it is says Happer. All right, we're going to test this out with our mob cloner right here so we can clone as many mag uh, mutant magma cubes as we want. Let's go ahead, scroll down the list. We have the mutant magma cube right here. Hello there. How you doing, Mr. Mutant Magma Cube? He, as you can see, he's got like a little bit of a shell. Like, it looks like a magma block, actually. Hold on. Wait, yeah, this, this looks exactly like a magma block. Hold on. Let me just compare them. Yep, that, that looks pretty dang similar. It's kind of like a mag- Yeah, it's a literal magma cube now. But anyways, let's go ahead and put it up to the test against maybe like a- Let's start a simple with here with a silverfish, and then we'll go on to a zombie. We got a tough silverfish here. Oh boy, a little bit of a, uh... Never mind, he just got immediately obliterated. <laughs> In that case, let's go for a uh, giant zombie. Oh, boy. And whoa, did he just shoot a G? He just shot like a giant fireball or something. And uh, there's some fire going on. Let me just make sure the game rule uh, do fire tick is false really quick so we don't have this fire spreading all over the place because that's the, probably the last thing I'd want right now. And uh, he took out that zombie relatively quickly. Let's go ahead and get a... How about a... a uh, let's get another zombie, I guess. Actually, spawning two zombies this time. We got a fire zombie with a dispenser on its head. So that's pretty neat. This magma cube has taken uh, about how, how much damage has it taken? It's taken none, actually. There's fire zombies coming over, though. And I think he's gonna. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, he's shooting fire arrows. What the heck? He's shooting fire arrows out of his, like, dispenser head or something. But the fire zombie's pretty much gonna die at this point because I think this beats it magma cube. Oh, yeah, he destroyed him. How about we put a skeleton all the way over here? Maybe he can, like, snipe this little mutant magma cube, or the mutant magma cube's probably gonna snipe him first, if anything. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He just destroyed that skeleton. He, like, shot it from all the way over there. There. Pretty smart of him, actually. Or I mean, the mutant the magma cube cube is not only good against like close range; he's very effective at long range attacks too. Let's try out a zombie. Let's try out two zombies in the front, and then one skeleton in the back, so that uh, you can do like a kind of like a ranged attacks kind of deal. I should probably set. I should probably set the time to uh, or the time set night really quick, so we don't have to. Um, worry about the, the night uh, or the day like burning up all these enemies and stuff But the skeleton just got absolutely obliterated in that case Let's throw some zombie pigment down. Let's throw in, like five zombie pigment or actually I, I spawned in six accidentally We have here a boss uh, zombie pigment a level two boss one that's actually and it's actually like charging at him for some reason This may do magma cubes for and for a bit of trouble. It's taking 18 damage here from the boss Wow, the boss is actually pretty much destroying this pizza magma cube. Holy flip this th this pizza magma cube Can't attack fast enough unfortunately, so oh Oh, yeah, there it goes. Let's see what it dropped. It dropped 36 magma blocks, a master pyromancer wand, and what else did it drop? I don't know. Wait, where the other loot got? I know there's probably more than just that. It also dropped 12 magma cubes. Let's check out its drops. It actually has three drops, by the way. But the, It dropped the master pyromancer wand, which has a meteor spell bound to it. So if we just go ahead and uh, just put you right here. There you go. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I mean, it destroyed the bridge a little bit, but wow, that's pretty it's pretty powerful. All right, let's go let's go ahead and summon a horde of like skeletons to take it out really quick. Mutant magma cube versus a horde of skeletons. We also have ourselves a fire skeleton over here. And I think wait a minute, is the mutant magma cube resistant? I think it's like fully resistant to projectiles, so I don't think it's going to have a problem at all finding these skeletons to be honest. I mean, it doesn't seem to uh doesn't seem to like be ta it's, it's not taking any damage at all. The whole like the hard shell that it was talking about makes it completely immune to all range attacks, so that's pretty interesting. Anyways, that skeleton's dead. We got one more Gatling skeleton over here, which is definitely going to cause the Beats of Magma Cube a bit of trouble, since the Beats of Magma Cube takes twice the knockback. I forgot to mention that as well, but uh, yeah, he's kind of, all these things are dead, and the fire is spreading. I mean, it's not spreading because I turned fire tick off, but yeah, let's just go ahead and put this out really quick. Alright, let's turn up the pace here. Let's spawn in a Mutant Snow Golem. Actually, spawn in two, since the Beats of Magma Cube will probably obliterate them, and uh, these two aren't really doing anything, and okay, Okay, here we go. Mutant Snow Golem versus Mutant Magma Cubes. And oh, I forgot. I forgot that the freaking uh, Mutant Snow Golems will not fight any of, of these like weird mutants that Happer created. I'm not sure why that's the case, but they'll fight other mutants. I I don't know, but this Mutant Magma Cube is totally unharmed because none of the mutants wanted to fight him. In that case, let's go ahead and spawn in an Enderman versus this Mutant Magma Cube. I'll spawn in two, actually, since it's a little bit more fair. And uh, this Enderman is... Wow, he's going in for the attack, dude. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this Mutant... Okay, this Mutant Magma Cube is actually 
actually taking quite a bit of damage here. And uh, he's at 151 health. He took out that one. That, that one's also dead. And what did he drop? This one dropped the uh, Enderman scales. That's neat. I haven't seen that before. All right, let's turn up the pace here with a Mutant Skeleton. Now, the Mutant Skeleton, like I said, the Mutant Magma Cube is actually completely immune to all ranged attacks, so none of these arrows will hit him. But the Mutant Skeleton does have a few melee attacks on in his arsenal, like that little bow slap you just saw, and that little, like, rib cage, uh, kind of, like, snap or whatever you just did there. But this Mutant Skeleton is definitely taking a lot of damage here. Ooh, they might have to... Yeah, this Mutant Skeleton better start focusing on some melee attacks or something, because those... Uh, yeah, as you can see, those arrows will have no effect on him whatsoever. Except if his arrows happen to have poison on them, because the poison will affect the Mutant Magma Cube. But as you can see, this, uh, Mutant Magma Cube is just kind of stuck here, and this Mutant Skeleton is just kind of pushing him into a corner. And uh, this Mutant Skeleton literally just jumped into the freaking pool with the, uh, Mutant Magma Cube, and Mutant Skeleton is dead at this point. So there you go. On that case, let's go ahead and have a Mutant Creeper attack the Mutant uh, Magma Cube really quick. We got a whole bunch of explosive mobs. He just sent out the, the, this this Mutant Magma Cube is refusing to uh, fight back at all. He's just, dude, is he even going to fight back? Okay, there you go. Now he's fighting back. I'm, I don't know what's going on, but I don't think the Mutant Magma Cube can actually do any damage while he's in water. That's what seems to be going on. I'm not sure, though. But anyways, this Mutant Creeper is on fire, and uh, this Mutant Magma Cube probably isn't going to survive the final explosion, if we're going to be honest here. Alright, uh, this Mutant Magma Cube's at 78. This Mutant Creeper's at, uh, like, 9. Oh, this, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, this Mutant Magma Cube's getting pulled into the explosion, and, oh, it took him out, and he dropped a new item. Hold on. They, I think he drops a, I think he drops, like, a new item each time. Uh, this one dropped a Flame Fast Amulet, reduces fire damage by 30%. Not bad. Alright, let's go ahead and try out a Mutant Zombie versus the Mutant Magma Cube here. As you see, Mutant Zombie's taken a bit of damage. Not too much, but the fire is definitely gonna be easy to, like, take him out whenever the mutant zombie gets down so the mutant zombie is only gonna have one life in this scenario because the mutant magma cube sets him on fire and never mind the mutant zombie's in water if the mutant zombie can stay in water he'll get like three extra chances to take out this mutant magma cube here but this mutant magma cube is uh i don't know what he's doing oh I, he just did like a like a leap attack or something there but anyways the mutant zombie 28 health 17 now Ooh, will he take him out in time i don't know he's at three health and there you go the mutant zombie is down but not dead mutant magma cube has seven health he's actually regenerating over time somehow even in water I don't, I don't get this at all really but anyways uh he's gonna be taking out this mutant zombie any second now come on mutant zombie you can you, you gotta go down buddy you're at least uh, uh, dude i think this mutant magma cube is actually cornered or never mind he, he, he's sitting mutant magma cube seems to have like an unfair attack range like look at this somehow he will hit the mutant zombie from all the way over there but he just died again and let's go ahead and check out what he dropped because each time he dies he has different like flame related drops and all that and i don't know I don't know. He just dropped another Master Pyromancer one. So let's go ahead and have one more test here. Mutant Magma Cube versus the Mutant Enderman. Let's see what happens. Mutant Enderman is uh kind of shaking. I don't know if he's going to do anything, but okay, there you go. Mutant Magma Cube is at 100, or, or the, the, the Mutant Enderman is at uh, 150 health. This uh, They have the same amount of health. Uh, they're pretty much like the same mob in a way, sort of, except the Mutant Magma Cube has full range resistance. And uh, I, I don't know. They're not quite the same mob, but this one can throw magma blocks. This one can throw blocks too. I'm just saying they're kind of, they're a little bit similar, you know. But anyways, this Mutant Magma Cube will be smacking up this Mutant Enderman. The Mutant Enderman smacking up the Magma Cube as well, so that's the funny thing. Uh, it's, he's at 5 health. He's gonna die any second now. Alright, Mu Mutant Magma Cube, and oh, okay, he's dead now. Alright, let's see if the Mutant Magma Cube can survive this final attack by the Mutant Enderman. I, I mean, yeah, he's hiding under there. He's obviously gonna survive. And, uh, there you go. Mutant Magma Cube has survived the Mutant Enderman's final attack with 125 health. Now it's time to fight the Mutant Magma Cube myself, so I gotta be careful of his, like, fire attacks here. Wait a minute. His fire attacks go through my shield somehow. So I'm gonna need to be, like, staying here in this, like, water area to not get attacked by these, like, st like to not get set on fire, even though I'm blocking with my shield because, as you can see, he'll easily set me on fire. I need to, like, wait for his opportunity that, that he attacks for because I didn't bring any golden apples somehow. I'm kinda, I'm kinda dumb for not doing that. But as you can see, he's just kinda, I th I, wait, is he just stuck? I don't think he can attack in water. I forgot about that. So he's just kinda, he's just kinda screwed now. And so as long as you just go ahead and keep hitting him with my sword really quick. This will be the easiest magma cube mutant thing I've ever done in my life.
life, and now he's dead. Okay, he, he kind of sucked, and he dropped this ma Master Pyromancer wand. And as you can see, if you just get him in some water, you'll pretty much be safe. But then again, I don't know how you're supposed to bring a magma cube to the open world and then throw some chemical X on him. So, uh, good, good luck with that. But anyways, there you go. We took out the mutant magma cube, and we got our wand right here. And I think the mutant magma cube actually does have a third drop. I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and get my, uh, like, my, uh, what's it called? The god sword out really quick. Spawn in another magma cube. I believe he does have, like, a third drop. No, that wasn't, that wasn't it. Let's get another magma cube really quick. Where is his third drop? I know he has another. Maybe he just doesn't want to drop. Oh, there it is. I think this is, like, one of those rare drops. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a rare, uh, rare rarity item. <laughs> rare, rare rarity item. Wow, that, <laughs> that, that rolls off the tongue. Anyways, demonic seal. When out of mana, hunger can be used to craft spells. That's pretty nice, but there you go. That's a meet to magma cube. Pretty strong mob, I, I guess, unless it's in water, then it's totally helpless and defenseless and you could easily kill it. But then again, you're not going to easily get a magma cube to the open world, douse it in some water and easily beat it up because I don't think anyone's transported a magma cube to the open world before. But anyways, that's going to be all for today's video. If you liked, make sure to leave a like, dislike if you didn't like it, subscribe for more content, and don't forget that if you want to be on the board of suggestions, make sure to comment below and if I like your idea, I'll take it. But anyways, that's going to be all for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.